okay welcome back everyone in this video we're gonna explore the dynamics we're gonna explore the process dynamics of two CSTRs that are in series and if you can I hope you can see the schematic here both of these CSTRs are overflow reactors as I've mentioned here okay and the reaction happening in each vessel is a isomerization reaction species A going to species B okay and we've been given both of these reactors have the same volume and the volume of each reactor is V meters V meter cube the inlet flow rate I'm just gonna label that as Q sub zero Q superscript zero that's gonna be Q meter cube per second and the inlet concentration is going to be CA super, superscript 0. Okay, so we're right now we're just going to explore the uh, dynamic mole balances symbolically. Because once you have the symbolic model, it's just um, plugging in numbers is just a, uh, it's, is the easy part. Getting the model is the hard part. Once you have the model, you can just have MATLAB take over. You can just have Simulink take over. We just have Excel, Python, whichever program you fancy, just take over. Since it's a, uh, since now we're doing, we're dealing with a reactive system, we're going to need some kinetics. So the um, kinetics that I, I'm assuming for this reaction are a simple first order kinetics, as you can see here. And we're, since it's a CSTR, our well mixed assumption is also going to be valid. And um, we're also going to be assuming a, uh, there's a water bath here as you can see and the water bath keeps both reactors isothermal so we also have a uh, isothermal system therefore we're not going to be exploring we're not going to be exploring the uh, heat effects we're not going to be doing a dynamic energy balance in this uh, in this section all right so yeah here I have the, uh, I've drawn a control volume. Let me just emphasize this. Here is the uh, control volume around the uh, first CSTR. And I can see that there's only one stream entering and the other stream is leaving via the overflow. Okay, and yep, yeah, the well mix system, uh, the well mixed assumption is gonna hold both the uh, contents of the reactor and this stream are going to be at the same concentration so let's see now we're going to develop i'm just going to list out the assumptions first so my first assumption is um well mixed obviously because that's we have a cstr and i also assume that my react my reactors are operating isothermal isothermal operation isothermal okay and the next assumption is um, since it's an overflow reactor the implication of an overflow reactor is that total volume entering your unit is equal to the total volume leaving the unit okay otherwise you can't have the uh, your system cannot operate all right let's move on to reactor one And for now, we're just going to write the mole balance of A. Okay, so we're going to start off with the accumulation term on the left-hand side. You can also have it on the right-hand side. It absolutely does not matter at all. So, okay, how are the moles in the first tank changing? Well, obviously, we have a uh, flow rate that's coming in. And that is bringing some moles of A inside the tank with it, okay? Our inlet stream. And obviously, we have an outlet stream that is leaving our system with some A, okay? Also, we have a first order reaction happening, so we're gonna have a consumption term, okay? So let's just check our units. This is meter meter cube volume per time time multiplied by mole per volume yeah so the units all should be mole per time mole per time and this one also checks out to be mole per time okay 
as I've mentioned the uh, units for my kinetics here okay good now let's see how I can expand how I can rewrite this number of moles term the NA the number of moles is just equal to the uh, concentration inside the tank multiplied by the volume of the tank right and everything else is still the same everything else on the right hand side has not changed let's just bring that here shall we okay oops give me a second there we go all right now okay since we have a uh, overflow reactor one of our assumptions is overflow another implication of the overflow system is that the volume of CSTR is constant during operation during operation the volume will obviously be changing it will be rising or falling during startup or shutdown but we're talking about normal operation for now we're trying to model disturbances during the operation okay now since the volume of the CSTR during for an overflow configuration has to remain constant we can just pull it out of the derivative term and we get something like this volume times dca1 dt okay now well let's just say we want to get rid of this volume term therefore i'm going to divide both sides by v v cancels by v v cancels by v and i'm left with dca1 dt is equal to now flow rate we have a flow rate divided by volume so that's going to be space time which is represented as 1 over tau i'm going to call this 1 over tau 0 1 over tau 1 minus kca 1 okay question now since we have an overflow reactor q0 must equal q1 if that's the case that means that q0 over v must equal q1 over v and if that's the case means that 1 over tau 1 0 has to equal 1 over tau 1 so we can just reduce the number of variables we have here and I'm just gonna rewrite this let me just copy it down oops Wait. and copy that all right paste it right there one day guys yep got it got it thanks for being patient and now I'm just gonna rewrite this zero as we re rewrite this one as zero which means that the whole everything can be writ rewritten as oh, there was a ca1 here that I did not catch oops anyway anyway we got it we got it so we have ca0 minus ca1 over tau 0 minus k c a 1 so that's the um, that's our equation for the uh, dynamics of the first CSTR okay so far we have one equation and we only have one unknown our only unknown right now is c a 1 the outlet concentration from the first reactor okay now i uh, i'm gonna leave the uh, mole balance on b up to you guys for practice i'm just gonna move on to reactor two reactor two is gonna follow the same structure for the mole balance of a exact same structure of the equation you're gonna have a uh, accumulation term obviously now the inlet stream is q1 
q1 multiplied by ca1 and the exit stream is going to be q2 times the concentration inside the second tank and you have we also got we're going to add the uh, consumption term of course and by repeating the same manipulation that I've done here in this section you shall arrive to the following you shall arrive to the following form of the equation the rate of change of concentration of A in the second tank is equal to CA1 minus CA2 divided by tau minus K C A two. Now, just to point out, this two, uh, I don't want to confuse you guys. This two does not mean squared. So, um, this is just the superscript to indicate that we have a uh, to reference the uh, CSTR that we're talking about. Okay. So far, we have a total of we have our first equation there and our second equation and now we have two unknowns the new unknown that we have introduced is the concentration in the second tank okay all right so yep we can these are we have our two equations the two differential equations that describe the uh, dynamics of the battery of CSTRs that we have here. Uh, in the upcoming videos, we're gonna add more complications like having an adiabatic reactor, etc. And so we're we're gonna see how we're gonna deal with those. Okay, thanks for watching.